Hello guys, this is Mike from programming.org. In this C++ tutorial, I am going to show you how to write a switch statement. So, to start it off, I'm going to need to find an x value. So let's just create an integer. We're going to give it the variable name x, and I want to read that in from the user, okay? So we're going to print out to the screen, um, please enter a number okay and now I don't want a new line so right now we want to the number that the user inputs we're gonna plug that into this variable so let's say CN and greater than greater than X okay so whatever number they plug in will be X now let's test if uh, this number is in a 1, a 2, or a 3. The way we would do that, instead of writing if else statements, you could do switch statements. So, how do you write that? Lowercase s, switch, and inside of these parentheses right here, it's going to take uh, an expression and check it. So, we're just going to put x right there. So, now we're going to open up some curly brackets, and inside these curly brackets are where all the cases are going to go. So, let's write since I wanted to test one, two, or three, let's say case three, colon, not semicolon, and underneath of this, we're going to want to do whatever we want to do if x happens to be three. So I'm just going to print out that they entered three. So C out, less than, less than, um, number is three. Okay, then I'll end the line. And to make sure that this doesn't trickle down to the other cases, we need to break out of the switch statement. And the way you do that is with the reserve word break, semicolon. Okay, now we can do case two, it's identical. Um, so if it's identical, I might as well just copy and paste all this. Copy, paste it. Ah. There we go, so let's do two, one, and you could have started at one, two, three, or whatever order you want. Um, it may matter in certain situations, but for this demonstration, it doesn't really matter. Two, one, and if I didn't enter, or the user didn't enter a one, two, or a three, how do we handle that? Okay, so that'll kind of be like an else statement, I guess you could say, and we're going to say the keyword default. So spell that out and colon and what we'll say here is C out um, number is not a one, two, or three. There we go. In line. And then we can break out of this, but it doesn't really it's not completely necessary, but it's a good practice. So now let's run this and see what happens. So hit run. Yes, we want to build that. All right, so it says please enter a number. And I'm going to enter 3. Okay, so it says number is 3. So let's say, and if you wanted to keep executing this, you could put this whole thing within a while loop. So now let me put 4. See, it says number is not a 1 two or three so this if you want to compare it to an if else statement it could be something like if x uh, equals three do this uh, else if x equals two do this else if x equals one do this else do this so that is the similarity between the switch and the if else um, when you want to use a switch is when you're testing like a definite constant down here because in an if else statement we could say if x um, is greater than some number and less than some number so you can have multiple um, conditions to check just for one value so the switch is is when you want to have it tested against a constant so and let me show you what happens if we don't have a break statement okay you 
right, so let's get rid of all those brakes and let's run that. Now I'm just going to put in a three so it will run this case. Three, and there we go, it ran all the code. So it, it ran the three, the two, the one, and the default. So definitely make sure that you have those break statements in there if you don't want the rest of the code to execute. Sometimes you want the rest of it to execute. But that is the switch statement. So if you like these videos, please subscribe below. Thank you guys for watching.